Yo guys, this is Rob with Tech. I want to make a quick video on the hard drives that I just bought. So I bought this three 12 terabyte hard drives from uh, uh, Go Hard Drive from eBay. I know a lot of people don't recommend them, but I took my shot because uh, look at the price, $72.99. So I ended up buying three. So I just want to show what I did as far as testing goes. So first, I'm also going to uh, I'm gonna be building a new uh, NAS setup with three um, 12 terabyte hard drives and now i'm also gonna have one terabyte uh, m.2 ssd so uh, subscribe if you want to see that video but for now we're just gonna test our hard drives so right here the first thing that you should do is look into the smart data so i'm going to do it on open media vault you can just do smart devices show detail extended information and the important values to look at is the power on hours i mean if you're looking at the eBay listing, they, they were sold as five to six years old. Uh, I'm actually got lucky because mine were powered on a little under three years. Like they're, they, a couple of days before they get to the three years of usage, which is really good. Um, so the other thing is the, the current pend pending sector, the reallocated event count, offline uncorrectable, uh, or the other one, reallocated sectors. You may have to make sure that this says zero. Um, so here, if you do power, power on hours, you can see that it has 24,904. Um, that's like not even three years, a little bit below, but actually, if you're going to be looking at this data, you can actually look at it with the crystal disk info. It actually shows the data a lot better. The other thing with this drive is that they have helium. You know, make sure, uh, they are at a hundred percent level. Uh, the other thing quick thing I did was in the self test logs, uh, I ran a short uh, test, smart test, and they all passed no errors. So after that, I went ahead and found this program It's called uh, BHT, which is a bulk uh, hard drive tester, I believe. Oh, yeah, bulk uh, HDD testing. I'll leave the link in the description for this. But basically what it does is that this application runs bad blocks for you on all three devices. Well, on how many devices that you have, I think you can run test 24 to 48 right in my case i just used it for three so the requirements are i i, I went ahead and did it with uh, open media vault so just make sure you do an apt update and after that you can go ahead and copy this command i'm not gonna do it because i already did uh i already have it uh, also the other thing to include in here i would add git so after lvm2 space git git just to make sure you have git after you install this you have all because this is the the requirements like the dependencies you're going to go here on code and you're going to copy this link just click there okay so we're going to jump into the open media vault and we're going to see how the application works so first of all what you're going to do because we already copied the link from the website you're going to do a git clone and then you're going to right click I'm using Putty, by the way, and then uh, this will automatically download the application. Once you do that, it's going to download it in, in, make sure you root. It's going to download a folder in here. It's going to be called BHT. Now you have to CD BHT. Now in here, you can run the application. You're going to do BHT, and then you're going to specify your disks, right? So in my case, if I do an LS BAK, you're going to see that the first three are my 12 terabyte disks. So this is the SDB, SDC. So now that we know that to run it, it would be BHT. And then you're going to specify that this uh, forward slash dev. So SDA. Now here you can do square bracket and then A dash C. That's just going to tell it to do A, B, and C. If you have more, let's say you do A to K, it's going to do all the ABC. This is equivalent to specifying dev, a uh, forward slash dev, forward slash SDA space for slash dev for slash sda sdb and also space forward slash dev for slash sdc uh, if you visually want to see that it's basically equivalent to running it like this yeah like that now i'm not gonna run it because i already ran it uh and it's been it took uh, for those 12 terabyte disk it took a total of four days and a half almost five days i can't give an exact time but it almost took the five days 
Uh, once you start doing that test, uh, it's going to go ahead and write different patterns. There's four different patterns. I'm not exactly sure what pattern gets written on the first two tests, but on the last two, I know that the third test is uh, it writes once to every single block. And then on the last test, it writes zeros to every single block. Now, if you're going to run this, make sure that the disk, um, you don't have anything on it. I mean, you can't have stuff on it. The problem is that once you run this test, it's going to completely destroy whatever you have on it. So this is kind of kind of wipe the whole thing. So just keep that in mind. This were new drives or not new. They were used new to me drives that I needed to test before I put them into this NAS. Now, once you start running it, you can do PHT and then you do dash dash status. It's going to give you the status. I know like in my case, after the four and a half days, almost five, you can see here reading and computer comparing past complete. So this one completed zero, but zero bad blocks found uh, zero, zero, zero errors. So this is what you're looking for whenever you're testing your hard drives. So in this, this particular batch that I bought from go hard drives, I mean, they're working. It did take a while, but since a lot of people on Reddit were saying bad things about them or to be worried, um, I took a gamble, but now it looks like it's all okay. Um, but that's all be all guys. Just want to let you know how you guys, you can use the, uh, BHT utility from GitHub to kind of help you, uh, with this, uh, hard drive testing. Uh, if you guys want to see that, that oncoming NAS video, make sure to subscribe and, uh, make sure you kick that notification bell. Also like, and, and comments, if you have any questions. Thank you.